Oh, hey, good morning, everybody. This is Organic Dairyman, and welcome to my channel today. Today is Thursday, April 30th, the last day of April. And yes, it is a beautiful sunny day, and I hope it's a beautiful sunny day where you're at, too. Um, I'm just out and about doing some chores, and they're bringing in that um clay here this morning to uh put out the cow's lot my brother he's out there right now leveling it out so that way we get the clay put in there in the cow's lot that way we can let the cows back in that main lot but yeah so that's one of the things going on here today and Oh yes, it's such a beautiful day today. It's a uh, little, little, not too bad. It's a little chilly, but you gotta wear a jacket. It's not, not bad at all. I don't even know what the temperature is, but yeah. So, anyways, what are we gonna be doing the rest of the day here today? Well, um, well, we still gotta milk the cows here yet. Get them in, and get them milked. Um, probably what I'll be working on here today is is uh how we're gonna get that corn planter up here and see if we get working on that and uh i uh probably i mean i can't really do any more any more work in my tractor um i did actually get the uh thing back on there and which i'll show you and some here time throughout the video or the rest of this video I'll, I'll show you what i worked on that was actually yesterday i got the steering st actuator valve actuator housing back on so i'll include that in the video and uh we'll see what else we get done here today but we'll probably work on getting the uh the cows back out in that lot there today and uh the cows lot we got to move the feed bunks in there and everything but um I'll probably do that. Hey, you probably can't see my brother out there, but I uh, guess you can. I can't even. He's off behind the barn there. But so we'll get going here with the day and see what we do, see what we all get done. sunglasses <laughs> oh man I miss 
I'm gonna keep working at this, and then when I get done with the feeding, uh, I'm gonna go back and see if we can work in that corn planter. They're working on that. And my brother, he got the cows lot, all the clay and everything leveled out. Leveled out. Actually, I milked all the cows alone. Why he did that, and so that's why I'm a little bit behind. Just a little bit behind with the feeding here, but we'll get her done. We'll get her done. Okay, I got the milk cows all fed. I'm gonna go and take the loader tractor. It's over here in the hay shed that I backed up, put over there. And uh, I'm gonna go and hook up to that Donahue trailer with the corn planter and pull up there by the repair shed. So I could start working on that, get those new disc openers. Um, before I do work on that, I'm gonna have to watch I'm gonna have to watch a part of a YouTube video because I don't know. There's something when you put those spacers on, there's some little adjustment that you gotta make. And you gotta use a piece of paper. And I don't remember. Well, I guess I could show you here on the drill. It's kind of similar. It's right. If you guys can see this or not. It's right here where they come together. You got it, there's shims behind these things here and you gotta adjust the gap. You want the gap to be, or you want it to start getting tight at a certain point. And I don't remember where that point is. So, I have to watch a YouTube video. There's a lot of things you can learn on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, finally, I got this thing up here. <laughs> you would not believe how long it took. Obviously, I didn't show the whole time thing, but it took a while to get this thing. I was just ready to hook it up. Well, I had trouble, the jack fell down as you saw, and then uh, I just said I lifted up with the loader. I didn't show that, but then I went to go hook it up, finally got it all ready, and then there was no hitch pin for it. So I had to walk all the way out to the other shed to get the hitch pin off that Donahue trailer. So I can hook this one up. I don't know. I thought we had pins for everything around here. But somehow the pins, I don't know. It's like they get up and walk off all by themselves or something. They just disappear. But, so, yeah. Whew. We need next year, we need to invest in a fold-up planter. We want to get one, but it's a step-by-step -step process. We got a different drill. Maybe next year we'll get a, a fold-up corn planter so we don't have to dink around with this. So... So I'm gonna get these, I gotta, actually I forgot, I gotta back the tractor over here and raise this thing up. Then I gotta get the gauge wheels off and start pulling the, pulling the discs off.
Okay, I got one off. The other one's kind of stuck on there. Probably going to have to do a little hammering to get that one off. So let's do a comparison here. See how much these are wore down compared to those. We should do it the other way around. If I get it to hold still there. Uh, there you could that's about how much they're wore down. Yeah, they it's it's wore down past the bevel. Yeah. They say this if you could see that on here there's a little bevel. They say once it wears past that you want to replace it. So that's wore past that, so time to replace it. So So I got one down. Well I'm not even done with it yet. <laughs> Still got Seven more to do. Well, I'm not gonna do too much horror. I'm gonna see if I get that off, get this one set, and then I'll probably quit. Well, I uh, tried adjusting this one here, and I'm going to have to get some more shims for it because it's not, according to that YouTube video I watched, um, the gap is, it's not right. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be specific for a specific planter, or if it's just in general, like John Deere planter is like, the, in general, that's what you want, but the... Uh, in the video it said you want he just used two business cards and you know, he said you want the, the gap that you want is like less than two inches between them well there's more than two inches between the gap so it's too tight together so i'm probably gonna have to go to town and get some more shims and i don't know i think some of these bushings in here need to be replaced there's some bushings in here and man i don't know that one is moving up and down I don't like it. Hmm. I don't know. It needs to have some more stuff gone through, but golly. I hate to stick a lot of money into it, but I know if you adjust things right too, it makes you money in the field if everything is set right. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to get some more shim shims before I could finish adjusting that. And, um. <sighs> It's not gonna be a fast job, you know. Maybe I should just be like Minnesota millennial farmer and just take it to town and let them do it. But then if you took it to town and had them do it, then I wouldn't learn how to do it myself. See, that's the thing. I like to learn how to do it myself. <laughs> but we gotta get this done because, like I say, in a couple weeks we'll be planting corn, so we gotta get it done. So, anyways, before I go here, before I end this video, um. Yeah, I worked on this shifting thing last night. And I got the shifting lever out, but unfortunately, I broke the top of the knob, the shift lever off. That thing was rusted and stuck on there. So, I'm going to I'm going to have to get a different sh shift lever because that groove where that snap ring goes right there, that's way too wore out. And I don't know. I'm going to price a new one from John Deere and see what that, that is and see if we get a, or if it's too much and I'll get a good used one. So, and two before I, um, yeah. Uh, I got a, one other thing here I want to see, but, um, yeah. But anyways, um, I'll tell you what that other thing in here is in a little bit. But anyways, I am going to show you one more thing before. I go, I'm going to run down to the field there, and we're going to go check on the oats, see how the oats are coming. So I'm going to run down there quick, but while I'm down, headed down there, um, I did a little video segment on this yesterday. And so I'll show you putting that on. So you can watch that while I head down to the field to, show, to go check out the oats. So 
I'll see you in a bit and I'll finish up the video down in the field so you can watch that little other segment from yesterday. Okay guys, um, I got the steering valve actuator housing thing on for the power steering so everything's fastened down and yeah, the only thing left to do is to dump some oil into it and then obviously start it up but I can't do that right now, make sure it works, um, check for leaks and uh, I think the end play is right in there i don't know there's supposed to be shims that go in here well there i you know it's supposed to be so much but it, it was you know if anything by turning that thing over it made the end play a little bit less which was probably good but you need a certain amount of end play in here um you don't want too much but um yeah it seemed like there's something else i was gonna say here you want to make sure when you do this job but i can't remember what it is Oh yeah, and I still got to hook up the, uh, I still got to get those put up. I got to get some different bolts because these bolts here, they're too long. They go down there. They're not the original bolts. They, they can tell that they look like they might be original, but they're too long because you could see somebody's ground down the tops. So I'm going to see if I get the original length on that. And, uh, but other than that, it's, uh, the power steering unit's ready to go. And obviously yesterday got all these bol bolts torqued down. That torque down up there had to be s s certain torque. But uh, yeah, everything should hopefully work okay on here. Um, this is all like I, like I said before. This is all 7:30. I don't know. Maybe this is the only part that's 7:30. I think this is still the original. I don't remember which way it is now. But anyways, yeah. So that's what it is. It's uh, back together, or mostly just going to do the transmission. Okay, here we are down here at the field. And I can see the deer, they've already made their tracks out here. So I don't know if you can see this now, but I can row it. Yeah, yep, you can see they're up. I don't know if you look. Yeah, you can probably find some of the hay. I don't see any of the hay. The hay should be poking up here somewhere, but it's uh, those deer, deer tracks. There's a lot of deer that I like to hide down here. So, somebody had a fire going over there. And this field, it looks bigger than what it is. It's just kind of a narrow, long field. I mean, the whole field, it's like, I bet it's two-thirds of a mile long. Yeah, I'd say it's at least anywhere from two-thirds to three-quarters of a mile long. From that corner all the way down there to that, to the end, one corner down there. So, it's a long, narrow field. I don't really, this field is... It's somewhere from 65 to 70 acres, somewhere in that area. The whole thing, including that section right there, this whole thing will be hay now. So, yeah. But the whole thing is straight. The alfalfa, I see it going straight east. Oh, there's the alfalfa. You can see it poking up right there. Can you see that? Yep. There it is. The oats are coming. I hope this drill, this drill made a big difference. I hope it's gonna make a difference. So this field was, we got it all land rolled. We got all the rocks pushing. Looks like there's some I saw a gopher mound over there. Somebody, right there. There's some stinking gopher. Huh. I hate pocket gophers. 
Those stinkers. Now I'm sure there'll be plenty down here. Like I said, the landlord, he he does he will come down and trap them. That's one thing I like about the landlord guy. He's 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 good about it. He, he's got he's retired. He's got nothing to do. He likes doing it, so I'm not gonna complain. Yep, nice big old pocket gopher mound. Ah, stupid thing. I don't mind if they dig. This one, that stupid piles of dirt that they gotta leave behind. So, anyways, that's about it for this video for today. So tomorrow, I'll probably try to work on that planter more. And, uh, I don't know, I gotta, like I said, we gotta get the plow out and work on that too, but, boy, it's a beautiful evening. I tell you, the camera just doesn't do it justice. It just does not do it justice. But, um, yeah. So anyways guys, that's it. I gotta go eat something and go do chores again. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Diamond. Also please don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see what happens tomorrow. So take care. Have a good evening. And um, I'll catch you later.